Welcome to Let's Talk Geek, episode 55. In this show, we're talking about Transformers, Rick Apocalypse, damn it, and Melting Glass. Let's do that again. <laughs> Welcome to Let's... <laughs> Welcome to Let's Talk Geek, episode 55. In the show, we're talking about Rick Apocalypse, Transformers, and Melting Glass. Thank you very much for listening. Welcome to Let's Talk Geek, episode 55. Sorry, I have to think about it for two seconds. Been going for a while now. Um, with us today, our guest this week is Louis Janssen von Rensburg. Uh, where can people get hold of you? Um, well, I think Facebook's probably the best place. Uh, and your Twitter handle? Um, Twitter header is uh, Louis underscore J underscore V underscore cool. Rensburg. All right. And that's that. Cool. Um, Stuart Allen is with us again. How's it? Cool. And your Twitter handle? <laughs> uh, at Stu underscore ZA. The repression there. <laughs> or, or give me on my blog. On your blog. www.stuartallen.org. Very cool. Yeah. And I know it gets mentioned on Hacker Day every now and again. Yep. I oh. actually I need to update it. I'm busy working on some stuff. But it's To I, be mentioned later. Oh, no. Okay. Oh. But no, it's boring. So we'll, we'll talk about it when it's done. Right. Cool. And of course, uh, Jan Vermeulen from My Broadband. Otherwise known as the Staff Writer. <laughs> it's at Yan V Z A because at Yan V, despite being um, not active on Twitter, uh, has held on to that. Like you've got Twitter like handle Squatter. squatters. Yes, mm. yeah. So Yan V and at Yan and no at Yan is active, and at Yan Zar were, were unavailable, but they're not using it. They've like camped on it since 2006 or something stupid. Anyway, so I'm at Yan V Z A now. <laughs> a, a slow adopters, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> and. and we, and I'm on my broadband, obviously. Yeah. You can find me there. My email address and stuff is on all articles all that I write. All the staff writer articles. <laughs> 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 and if you email, if you email uh, news at my broadband, it comes to all of us. Cool. Did cool. not know that. I'll remember. <laughs> we know where to send the spam. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, since we started that email address, the amount of spam we get, it's unbelievable. <laughs> I can imagine. And we also have Karat with us today. Hello, hello. Um, and I must remember because he's going to be talking about a very cool purchase he's made this week. Ooh, no. Very no, nice. We, we, got him, we got him in. This is, this is prostitution. Like, we were supporting prostitution by getting him in for the money that he spent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not getting paid. So something is wrong in this model. <laughs> you got a very cool piece of kit. <laughs> yeah, but I paid for it. <laughs> this is reverse prostitution. <laughs> yeah, but it's always boring when, when you don't get to tell people how cool your, your, your to new toy is. Exactly. <laughs> anyway, and of course we have uh, Johan Ausbusy mixing for us. Um, and you can find him at Johan underscore else on Twitter. And at who else dot Whoa, for yes, your anything there, yeah. Yeah, for your blog. Good evening, everybody. Hope you have a good show tonight. <coughs> All right, uh, for events, the, the one thing I do know is we have Icon coming up. It's not this weekend, it's the following weekend, Saturday, starting Friday to Sunday. Uh, mm -hmm. We should be there on the Saturday recording, but uh, we, we'll confirm times and everything a bit later. Um, other than that, there's nothing quite pressing coming up anytime soon. Uh, well, hopefully some warmer weather. Oh, I'm not minding this too much. I'm not no, holding my breath. On. Why are you guys moaning? Dude, and, oh, it gets down to five degrees. Oh, it's freezing cold. <laughs> Yesterday well, was not like Hey, that. do yourself a favor. Watch, watch a thing called Ice Pilots. Okay? Um, it's uh, these guys, the bush pilots that fly in the far north of Canada. And the guys out there at five o'clock in the morning sweeping the planes down. That, and it's minus 40 in gale force winds. That's hardcore. <laughs> Look good life. Minus 40. Minus 40 C. Okay. Apparently. <laughs> no, no, let's not go. Let's not talk about they, the weather. Um, they, they like strip an engine and they have the oil freezes. That the guy can't, oil. Get, the guy can't get the parts of the engine apart because the oil's frozen. <laughs> okay, impressive. <laughs> I'll stop moaning. All right. Until okay. tomorrow. Okay, we're going to talk about the first uh, topic, which is for Stuart, but it's very cool. It's a silver pen, essentially. Yeah. So you can draw your circuits. Pretty much. Um, so it, it's, it, uh, it's a cool idea. Basically, what they've done is they've got a, a silver-based ink. Well, actually, silver yeah. particles. In it. Silver in color. Exactly. Yeah, silver particles, um, probably nanoparticles or something like that. And with some sort of solvent, and you 
draw your circuit and it's a con- it's conductive and you can fold the piece of paper or whatever you write it on you can write it on wood and paper and wall well that's just it if you've got an edge or something you just write yeah. around the edge like you do with a pen and, exactly. and then you put your um it's quite track cool. that's been laid it's, it's quite cool and it it seems to be quite reliable as well i mean they've they had some things where they they, they can fold it a whole bunch of times basically when the paper starts falling to pieces well then you're, you're your circuit gets broken. Break, obviously. But I know they did something with a house or something where they drew a house and they put LEDs on, on the, the roof to, uh-huh. to light up the house. It's fun. It's, it's definitely for kids, but it's still pretty fun. Still I don't fun know. Fun. I could have used this at varsity quite a bit. Uh, yeah, I guess so. But the, the biggest issue is you can't really do act. You, it'll be difficult to put active components in and things like that. I mean, how do you glue a, a transistor onto it and things like that? But it's or, still. Or you put your transistors down and you draw your circuits off from that afterwards. Yeah, but you've got to connect that somehow. That's the thing. So you've got to actually physically connect the leg. How do you connect the leg to the ink? What, a bit of conductive glue or something? Because you can't solder onto it. That's the problem. Well, if you put up a solder and you draw up to the solder, would that not work? Well, it's still. Yeah, but the joint might be a bit flaky. Yeah, and, and it depends oh, look, on how you, much you wouldn't do this for any serious. No, no, but I mean, you, yeah. while you're trying to test the damn thing, if, you, if the joints are flaky, it's going to drive you up the true, wall. True. But anyway, it's, I think. Maybe you can make some clip-on ones or something like that. It's it's quite fun. Um, there's some there's some examples of it there. It's pretty cool though. Yeah, for those on the video, for those on the audio, shame. You're gonna have to go, go to the link your yourself. Website out, no. yes. <laughs> go to our wiki and uh, get the links. All oh, yeah. of them will be there. Yep. Yeah. So yeah, it was developed at the. Um, oh flip! Now I've gone blank. I had it open right here. Uh, Materials Research Laboratory at the University of Illinois. Hmm. Yeah. Another American invention will get made in Japan. In, in China, yeah. <laughs> and, and that will hopefully spawn many a patent war. Yay. Yep. But anyway, it's, it's, it's interesting. So it's quite good. Fu- cool. It's quite cool. All right. From that, we're going to go into something a slightly more local. Um, and so I've Ib- a couple of MWeb stories this, this month for my ball band. Mm. Um, you guys had, first of all, that uh, they automatically upgrading all their... 512 lines to the one meg one. Mm. It's not too unexpected. Telcom announced that they're going to be upgrading all their 512 customers to to one meg customers. Um, yeah. And 512 seems to be getting all the love and uh, also the this price round. Reduction. Yes. So effectively, you're getting like a lot more for a lot less. But it was necessary because if you looked at it, when I first uh, you know made started making some money, you know just got out of varsity, got my first mm-hmm. job as an engineer, I'm like, okay, great, now I can afford ADSL and investigated it, I, I looked at 512 and it was an utter waste of money because Boy. the jump from 384 to 512 was immense. And then from 512 to 4 meg was actually quite small comparatively. So if you ran the numbers, it came down to you paid um, you paid for um, for 512. You paid 100 percent more for 30 percent. Yeah, you know, for 30 percent extra. And for Meg, you paid you know 106 percent more or something like that, and you got you know uh, you know multiple, multiple times, times the, the the speed improvement. Yeah. So it was necessary to drop the price to make 512 even remotely interesting as a product. Well, the problem is now, as you look at it, 34 now is no no longer remotely interesting as a product. Yes. That's what I was going to ask because, like, my parents are still on 384. I, I'm gonna so, what is happening to them? Are they going to? It's what's best for them. Are they going to upgrade to still the entry? Yep. Yeah, that's so, the so level. what? The, what's going to happen to them is they're going to pay two or three rand more every month now okay. for the same crap service, and so they will, will have extra bandwidth. Yeah, I think. but if they pay something like it's almost or like 30 rand better. more, they get one meg. Okay, so I'm just asking because they're on the uncapped MWeb 384 account. Mm. So if what's, what's the best solution for them? Most cost-effective. Most co- well, the thing is you're going to pay more. You're going to pay more to upgrade to one meg. If they can afford it, do it. Okay, so it's Seriously, worth just it. Do it's, it. It's Absolutely. How, much a, how much of a jump is it? It's, Pro well, a threefold at least if you think about it. I mean, so it's from no, no, not speed. What's the price? No, man, oh, price. Price, price. Um, uh, Look, I, I, d- I don't know about the MWeb one. I know for just the line rental, yes. it's, uh, it's about 30 or 40 rand more now. To go to oh, uh, one yeah. meg, which so it's forty rand more, and it's three times the speed. So it's time for them to upgrade. So that's mm. um, I'm waiting when I see my folks this weekend. I'm going to go upgrade. Top it's worth upgrade, it. Yeah. And I think Not a lot cool. of people actually consider downgrading from four meg to one meg. To one meg, I no, consider because it. No, I, I might actually consider it. Do you know what my biggest thing with why I have the four meg is because it gives me fast upload speed. <laughs> <laughs> I don't actually necessarily need the four megs, but now I'm used to four megs. I do not want to go back. <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, I can't wait to till we get the uh, ten megs out here, because then oh. we can actually sh- broadcast our show at a higher quality. We'll celebrate that day. Yeah, yeah. It's lovely. What is the upload on a te- on ten meg? One meg. One meg. Mm. I was playing mm-hmm. with it last night in Johannesburg. It's, it's very oh, nice. Oh, cool. 
Oh. Yeah, that's amazing. A decent upload is really... Um, S- especially if, if you... Look, I think for most people, they would never need it. But if oh. you're doing any content uploading, working on YouTube or anything where you're actually working on the internet, upload speed and parity between them is actually more important than high download speed. If you guys yeah. want to quickly check, this MWeb's website on screen now. Yeah, this is how cool it is. Check okay. this out. So there's a 384, option right. one, excluding the line. You're looking cool. at... 350, 350 rand. Oh, sorry, with the line. Yeah, with, with the, the line. line which is what we want. Excluding the analog. Excluding analog line rental. So you remember, you still need to pay your telecom tax? Yeah, the That's 133 rand uh, per yeah. month, including that. Okay, so one meg. It's not... It's 588. It's a little bit... No, it's not double. A little bit less than double. Yeah. Three, yeah. Three oh, okay. 50, no, it's less than double. Yeah, much From less than double. To 588. So it's 220 rand more. Mo- mm. Most of the mm. increase is actually in the uncapped. It's getting uncapped one meg. Yes. Yeah. So yes. If, if you're paying, which my parents are actually paying per gig, the yeah, then it's, it's going to be a very, very minor. And, and if and exactly, and if you work, if you work that out, um, you know, in order to sort of break even on, you know, uncapped versus capped. Uh, you know, data pricing. Y- you have to use you know five gigs a month. It's yeah. not even it's not even a lot in order yeah. to make it worth your while to go uncapped. No, that's why they did eventually go uncapped is because they. But now how? Use it a lot. How does the whole ten gig eta deal? I mean, fit into a ten gig eta blows everyone out the water. Full stop. So this is Th- there's no competition. Um, as long th- as you can get signal. Now this is an interesting thing because Telcom, these are links that we've now not pasted into into the show notes, but Telcom have now recently announced um, that they are um, uh, that they are offering all kinds of extra deals on ADSL now. They've upped the the no, data. No, no, no. I read your story today, yeah, yeah? and you ended it off with a very nice sentence that said, "And Telcom was not available for comment." <laughs> I read this whole story from our broadband and it ends off with, no, Telcom couldn't confirm the story is actually correct. Yeah, well, it's correct. <laughs> um, but the reason they won't confirm it is because we, haven't, we have a source. and They um, have not officially released and it. They, and, and they don't like it when we break news that they haven't officially put into the, the channel. So, so, but uh, Telcom have released two things. The one that you're talking about today, the other one is confirmed. They, are go- they are, have upped the, the data allotment on most of their due packages. And this is an obvious response to what ATA is doing. From five gig up to what? Um, I think if you know. I think they've doubled it. And so, so same, 10, 10 gig. T- and then the, the higher package, the do three level package, 20 gig. There we go. Okay. Um, so, But you did your whole breakdown. Um, if you went and then bought from somebody else, uncapped band, still cheaper. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. So uh, look, MWeb, uh, what's it, I pay, I think 539 now for 4 meg uncapped. You just can't compare it. Yep. At Telcom, even though they've doubled it, they, <laughs> they're still behind. Yeah. And yeah. that's just, sorry, it's just yeah. wrong. <laughs> what, what I can say, look, I haven't used Telcom in a while. I actually switched to them because they, yeah. they had the, the cheapest per gigabyte um, you know, package before Uncapped was launched. And a- possibly you said and before Afrihost. Afrihost correct. Yeah, is including Afrihost when you get the doubling up? And before Afrihost, whole thing. Afrihost then shook up the market and then I switched to Afrihost. And um, before switching to MWeb, obviously. And um, the, the, I must say their quality of service has always been really good. Um, I don't want to say too many nice things, but um, I, I've never had an issue with throughput when I had Telcom as my ISP and as yes. my line provider. And, and going through do, you know, getting a do package is actually a cheaper way to get capped ADSL uh, than many of the offerings out there today. Um, Afriost has obviously, you know, slashed their, pr- or not slashed their prices, but have offered some, you know, some additional promotions and things, um, you know, to, to bring those prices down. But Telcom is still fairly competitive when it comes to capped to capped ADSL. Um, that said, um, I was chatting to one of the guys from ATA today and um, I, I just remarked to him that I find it incredibly interesting that in years worth of competition in the 3G market, you know, between you know, when 3G was giving ADSL horns, that should never have happened. And uh, you know, uh, Telcom just never responded. Um, even when Cell C launched their massive packages, they didn't respond. When Vodacom and MTN responded, Telcom did nothing. ATA launches a special, Telcom responds like a flash. So it seems but that they, it they the react to internal competition. Have you seen that organi- yeah. have you seen that organizational chart that was floating around during the week no. for <laughs> Apple and Microsoft <laughs> yeah, and stuff the Microsoft one is also like just a high, you know you got a group leaders and all the rest of the tree and the little groups all got guns pointing at each other <laughs> <laughs> anyway topical very topical yeah all right well, well speaking about that and, and broadband all the rest also we saw that mweb released ADSL plus 3g we did I did look at this 
there wasn't Partnering that much M-Web. operating on MTN. Oh, yeah, yeah, 3G yeah, on yeah, MTN. MTN. Yes. Um, it was sort of like a two gig, it said sort of uncapped, but it was actually effectively two gigs of bandwidth. And then after that, that I did look at M- MTN site. They sort of don't mention what exactly happens once you reach your... Um, I, I, I chatted to them. The they speed. throttle you to 128. Yeah. 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 So those deals are out there. I'm not sure if people are going to go for it. Mm. Um, it's I like to keep my stuff separate. So. Also like this, rather go buy a... ATA. ATA. <laughs> Look, uh, this show sponsored by ATA. I meet you owe me one. <laughs> no, but they're the best at, at the, the moment. moment. I've got to say, sorry, talk talk combinator for, for once <laughs> well done <laughs> yes. you win it's just it's uh only thing is you know you've got to have coverage um but other than that well done mm, coverage map Very isn't cool. that bad eh? yeah. yeah i was in <laughs> if you are in a city center yeah. obviously but I, I was i found this amusing i tested it in a couple of places i was in voter world this week i tested ata there i got better than adsl speeds um <laughs> uh, up and down and i was at uh, the press briefing today at the union buildings for the doc I got better than Eddie Ocell speeds there as well. Um, I, I mean, these are these are fairly populous areas. Um, but so, uh, so basically, you're saying if you're in a gov- if you're a government official or <laughs> a Vodacom employee, <laughs> get a get get a. <laughs> <laughs> I found it amusing. Okay, moving along. All right. Okay, cool. Um, I just want to mention something else. So we're going to be testing out the MWeb servers. Uh, cool. Friday which I'm looking yes. forward to. And yeah. you guys did a thing that said they still, they beat like the price of everybody. Well, 660 Rand. It's it's nothing, it's cheap. How do you compete against bandwidth? that? And even Afrio slashed their hosting prices. They, they made this big announcement this week. So we did a pricing comparison and nobody can hold a candle to MWeb. It's it's not a small difference. It's quite a big, it's almost like 100, it's okay, 110 Rand. But does Afrio give you a server? Yes. No, Afrio host was more expensive. Yeah. But do they give you a server? Did uh, it's Diddy. I think it's Diddy. Okay. Yeah, no, yeah. I, did, I did read through it. It was yeah. with the server, but it was limited bandwidth. It wasn't uncapped. Yeah. That's the kicker. Hmm. Well, I just hope that this whole exercise is going to cause some entrepreneurship. Yeah. I mean, I was speaking to this colleague in the car today. I mean, go and, buy, go and rent five servers, build a cluster, um, and start virtual hosting. There you go. Yeah, you can do I that, mean, yeah. Easily. Anyway, anyway, I wonder if that breaks the terms of service, though. Um, I don't think it does. The terms of service is like, I don't think they want you to start running your own YouTube or something like that. Yes. Yeah. Um, and you need to do things like, you need to make sure you've got more bandwidth going out than coming in. Um, okay. we, we did eventually, it took a while. It, it gives you 100 megs out mm-hmm. uh, and 10 megs in. Oh, that's, that's, that's reasonable. That's fa- no, no, look, it's very no, fair. No. It's, it's Okay. No, well, look, we are going. We're going to be running. We're going to be uh, putting all audio through out that. Yeah, no, that's and then perfect, looking at what what else we can push through that later on as time goes by. Cool. All right, Carrot, to your fancy toy. Uh, do you want to just tell people what you have? Uh, the Asus Transformer. It looks like a laptop from here. It looks like a netbook. Yes, it does. But so you know, hold it up to the camera, please. Uh, which camera? My camera. Yes. yes. No. This way. This is going to be... <laughs> <laughs> okay, there's, there's the tablet. Yeah, do you want us hold to on, hold, hold it? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Give us your logic card. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can keep your man card, but you can give us yeah, your no, logic card. Okay. Hold on, hold on. Okay, you can see the screen there. Um, Ooh. Tim's holding it up. And there's the, the dock part as well. So that's when it's actually docked. It looks like a netbook. 10.1 uh, in screen. It's got some Tegra hardware, uh, a Tegra 2 processor. And then Tim just popped it out as well. So there's the tablet. Now, this is a decent sized tablet. Sorry, this is, I've got the iPad. You need the size. No. Well, that's not, this is slightly bigger than the Yeah, so it's, it's a little bit, little bit bigger. So I'm just more compared to um, the seven inch ones. And yeah. it's, I think it's a little bit longer. So it's, it's more widescreen. It's running at uh, 1280 by 800 resolution. So it's a, it's a widescreen resolution. That's as much as my MacBook Pro. Front and do you, the rear facing camera. Am I seeing yes. it right? Uh, front facing, I'm not sure. I think it's like a 1.2. Rear Doesn't facing matter. is 5 megapixel. No, it's lo- this is. Gig of RAM. Very cool. Um, and it's running, it came with Honeycomb 3.1. With a touchpad. Yeah, with a touchpad. So when you dock it, you actually have a mouse. You have a mouse cursor. Ah, yeah. And it's multi-touch, so it's you, you can two-finger scroll left to right there and is. up and down. And then the buttons are a little bit different. Left-click is your normal left-click, but right-click isn't a right-click like we're used to on a mouse. It's back. Yes, yeah. Um, okay, hold on. Right-click is a Windows term. Yes. So, yes, Android has decided that Android right-click will be Android is different. So um, right-click, 
to, to actually get an options menu or a context menu with Android, you long press. Yes, yeah. So that's okay. still there. They keep that. Uh, you long press with a. Very cool. Very nice. Yeah. Yeah. See if you can and see. So oh, there the, we go, the yeah. other added benefit of the keyboard uh, is that it has an extra battery in there. So I was about to an ask extended you. battery. And the way they actually make it work is it charges off of the battery. So it's not that it's running off of that. It charges the tablet off of that battery, which is pretty cool because then it means if you undock it, your it's tablet has more battery, battery power exactly. than what it started Very off clever. With. And how long, what, what's, uh, what's your battery life like anyway? Uh, I've only had it for two or so. I've had it since Monday. And? And I charged it on Monday, took it off, and I only had to charge it today again, but just because I was coming to the show and I wanted some battery power. I'm and pretty sure it could have made it up until now. And you've probably used it quite heavily. Yes. Well, I'm Very, cool. Very cool. Does this have an SD slot? Yeah. Okay. Um, there's a, a micro SD in the side, in the right side over here. And cool. then it actually has a normal SD slot. Okay. Micro SD in the tablet itself. Lift it up. Higher. Over there. So this top part is the tablet. And cool. the bottom one, it has a full SD slot. So in the, ki in the keyboard, oh, so there's a full SD and there's... Mm. That's nice. And then the, the keyboard dock also gives you some USB ports. So you've got one on the right, one on the left. How old is it watch show videos? Sorry? Have you played videos and stuff through it? Uh, YouTube videos, yeah. Okay, cool. Um, I streamed some, H, uh, they, they say HD YouTube videos. No, 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 now the most yeah. important question, cost. Yes. Cost. Uh, I can't remember the price off by heart now. Just roughly around? Roughly for the whole thing, I think it was five and a half okay. thousand for the tablet and the dock. And so the tablet the is just a shy less of an iPad 2. So a 16 gig Wi-Fi uh, iPad, wi iPad 2. This doesn't have 3G. Um, the 3G model is only coming out later. Yeah. So uh, the 16 gig Wi-Fi iPad 2 is something like 4.2 around there somewhere. So it's a little bit less than that. Whereas in the States, it's $100 less. So they could have wangled the price a bit. But also um, we'll see how well this goes. If it goes well enough, more hmm, people import if, it. If they can keep the price where it is, it's a really good contender because you can still extend it from 16 gigs of storage to... Uh, what's 16 plus 32, 48 Eight. gigs um, and of storage. And you put an SD card in it. Yeah, that's with the that's SD card. And so you can put, put a 32 gig, gig SD well, card. Well, you can actually yeah. put two 32 gig SD cards. Yeah, in. if you've got the dock. I, yeah. I haven't yeah. tested that. Biggest question, is this thing insured? Uh, yes. <laughs> yes, <laughs> it is. It, it's, it's insured with my fist. <laughs> <laughs> I must say that's that's very pretty. I must actually, I'm going to play with it just now, but so that's the first time I've seen an Android tablet that I want. <laughs> wow, is, that, is that it yeah. look as I said I've, I've got an iPad and I love but also love Android and I just keep looking at the Android tablets and keep them going sorry no they're just yeah, not exactly there that, that's what I've been saying as well and that's what I've been looking at and then I saw this and I wanted a, a, a netbook but I also wanted a tablet I don't want both and then they brought this up what processor uh, Tegra 2, 1 gigahertz oh, dual core. Sorry, I it the NVIDIA Tegra 2. Okay, no, mm. it's very cool. And uh, just to be clear, the dock is sold separately. Yes. And that um, costs you one and a half Gs. That's, yeah, one, 1,600 is the normal price you should find in South Africa, which is kind of odd. If you look at supplier prices and retailer prices, they don't differ by much. Mm. Um, f free advertising, uh, who did you buy this from? Because their prices was, were actually decent. Something about... I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I, I really, okay, I'll so hold to, on. I'll have to look at the receipt to actually remember. You can so check at the, the point you if got you check just in the my broadband forums. Yes, you got if, so if excited. You <laughs> check in the my broadband <laughs> forums. I got it from there. Okay, from those guys. So um, I can check and we can put it in the show notes or something. Yeah, one thing somebody did ask about now. thirty-two gigabyte version. Now, now I was with you when we were looking at the price. Yeah, um, and the problem was that they're not. There's no stock in this country yet. Um, the problem that, that we had in this country was there, were, there wasn't stock of the 16 gigabyte oh, versions, the other way but around, they had yeah. stock for the 32 gig versions. Um, and now they have stock of both, it seems. Okay. And they have stock of the keyboard. Do you know also. roughly what the price difference for the 32 gig one was? Mm, just can't even remember what he paid for this one. Um, nine, nine hundred rand. It'll, it'll rand be rand just rand. under the 32 gig Wi-Fi iPad. iPad 2. Yeah. 2, yes. It Very should cool. be around there. Have you tried plugging in a 3G modem into it? No, I don't have one. Okay. So I've been we will test this wi -Fi one, one here. I'll give it to you I, just now. I think some other people have tried and it didn't seem to work. Uh, it's it's a probably a, a driver sad. issue with the, yeah. with the kernel. Cool. But I believe Android is now starting to add some yes, drivers into yeah. it. So you can put some webcams. So and yeah, I'm sure if you like rooted it. Oh, yeah, I know. You, if you rooted, you, you can build your own kernel. And you can the drivers and the kernels. Yeah, you no, can probably no, do that. I must say the one problem with rooting, I've been playing with Netflix this week, testing it out. And it doesn't work on a rooted Android oh, does phone. Oh, it detect um, rooted phones? Sorry. 
Did you get it working? It does. On the rooted Android? It works on the rooted Android. Is that with a new Cyanogen update? Okay. With the latest Cyanogen update. Okay, I'm, I'm go. going go. to check it out. <laughs> Very cool. Because uh, I've been playing with my iPad and last night I was sitting and watching a show uh, and it was great. Um, if, but if you found the love of Netflix. It, it's worth it. It's, what, it's, yes, it's, it's almost like... It's it's sixteen dollars a month. It costs you. That's uh, your VPN cost plus Netflix, and it's just unlimited videos. And you just you push play and you sit back and you watch. What uh, what content does Netflix give? I haven't actually checked it. Um, Fairly well. Look, there's certain of the new stuff they don't have. Series. Movies, TV series. Um, so like if you if you geek, they've just got all the Star Trek stuff. Okay, so you can geek out. Yeah, so they've got tons of stuff there. I was sitting watching. Um, uh, do they have specific deals with specific providers like Fox? Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. But go check it out. Uh, if you want to, okay. the, the, the word to look, search for is strong VPN. Um, and if it works. You keep so on doing that. <laughs> They're going to kill it and then I'm going to cry. Cool. Anyway. All right. From there, our next one is basically Blue Label Telecoms. They're going to, there's some people getting together. They're going to be providing finally that you can buy airtime, prepaid airtime online. You could you could do that with certain other providers. It depends what you want. Like there's and you can do it through certain banks. They, they, they charge you. No, they don't. They charge you a separate fee on top of the... So if you buy a 55 huh. rand, they charge you like one rand 50 extra on top oh. of that. Okay, well, obviously my bank package, which they already ream me for, uh, probably covers that cost. Oh, don't they? Okay, then I'm just feeling cheated. Yeah. <laughs> Bad net bank. Why are you on... <laughs> oh, well, they... Yeah. <laughs> No, no, I'm on ABSA, but I'm, I'm on one of those packages where you pay a flat rate and then Sorry, it's expensive. I don't see the point. Oh, well, the thing is when you buy, for instance, I was going to mention this. For Vodacom, there's a, there is a similar service and ATA for that matter. Um, I just have to remember the service's name, but they're a bit slow. But there's an instant service for Vodacom called VTime. Um, and I've used them. And what makes them cool is if, if you've got a data dongle thingy, mm -hmm. um, in, if you want to buy... Uh, bundle. Yes. You have to first take it out, Some put it in a phone. Yep. Um, with VTime, you just you just transfer the correct amount, yes. and they automatically convert that to into data. the correct data bundle. Okay, but so you still got to have some money somewhere to connect to the internet. Yes. No. So if you run out of everything, you're screwed. No, no. But with these things, like I, I just because I, I I bought my phone, I've I've gone prepaid. I said stuff it for contracts. Yeah. I'm going to wait till next year. I'm going to go on a contract and get a nice big fancy. Android, God call, something. Um, but now you run out of airtime all of a sudden. Now, with Virgin and a lot of the things overseas, you can link your credit card to it. Yep. Which you don't seem to well. do with Vodacom. Or two as well. So I can't go with that. You, you type, you had yeah. stuff in the code with secure, they recharge it. So now, but normally you, I can get online. <laughs> now I've got to log into my bank. Yeah, uh, no, fair enough. But it's just, why don't they, you know, come on, why doesn't Vodacom and MTN and all the rest have it on their website? Right? Come on. Really. Yes. It's not rocket science here. And, and you know what? Have it that it's on the, that at least when your when your airtime when your data runs out, you can still access their website. Yes. yes. And Why can't they do that? And ATA, ATA so does this. do that, by the way. Yes. And ATA has also done this. Um, but ATA's thing didn't work for me. Um, my prepaid ran out. This is before because they gave us a three month trial yes, for their for their ten gig thing, right? Um, and this was now before that kicked in. It took them a week to activate it. Um, and they gave us prepaid airtime to play with until then. And that uh, ran out. And it would take me to the ATA website, but there was no way for me to recharge. So they said that they're going to have some sort of portal uh, for prepaid customers to recharge through. So okay, th cool. they're slowly but surely doing this. But yeah, Vodacom and MTN's websites are disaster areas. Yeah. Okay. I am going to back you on that statement. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> and then as a contract payer, Try and figure out how much data I've used and how much I've got left. Oh, really? On Vodacom now? No, but MTN. Yeah, yeah, yeah. MTN. yeah no, M M MTN's website down, is, is actually it's probably the worst of the lot. Well, does, I can't get that information on their website. I eventually have to phone their call center. Then the chickie will check on the computer and tell me so much. Jesus. It's just ridiculous. How can you not check where you... Because I've bought the bundle. I want to know how much I've used of it. Is there no code you can also type in into the short codes? No, but then you've got to take the SIM out of your dong. No, no. No, no. Where you no, start whatever... No Oh, no so code. I know for prepaid, there's a code you type in and it returns how much. But that's still USSD. You either need a console. So if I'm using it on Ubuntu, it won't work. Um, there's a way. If you're yes, using it, it on certain Android tablets, it won't work. 
There's no, there's a way to pass the USD. USD. Code no, sure, with Minicom because, or whatever. Because no, no, USD, USSD. They are passing some of the information through because they've now got the signal detection working. Okay. So it's a sideband channel or inband. So it's an inband. Um, um, I do know with the South Sea dongle that when you when I looked up how to get it working with Ubuntu, there's like oh there's oh you saw this app and you can push through the code and but it pops up with what your you mark. can do is you can take your 3G dongle, plug it in. It's a normal what's it a uh, ACM modem yeah. yes. set up as that you can just mini term into it and yes. start typing 80 commands to it eh? yeah, and it works th th that works that's yeah. how I ended up doing yeah. it because so. you can send SMS that way yeah. right. it's pretty geeky cool. <laughs> <laughs> back in the days when I still got my ADSL from Telcom yes Telcom they've ha they have a and they still have it they'll email you every day how much you've used yes, yeah. yeah they still do that correct and how do these mobile providers not offer the same service just give me every day an email Sal saying... Sal C does, as you get socketing closer, they do tell, start telling you... Yeah, yeah. Vodacom, I don't know if Vodacom tells me it's 75%, at 80%, and then when it's done. Yeah. And it's an SMS. And the cool thing, actually, they thought about this, is you can tell it to send it to another number. So it doesn't try send it to your 3G dongle. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, the Vodacom thing, by the way, I've heard, I've heard a couple of complaints. I don't know if they've sorted it out. But towards month end, when everybody is trying to manage... You know the 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 end of the month salty crack snack bandwidth. Um, uh, apparently, it falls over. Uh, <laughs> it's it's impossible to sort of manage those last few hundred meg um, accurately. So towards the end of the month, because the site just can't handle the it. reporting is not quite because it's done in dot net probably. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, most <laughs> <laughs> probably. Anyway, Thank hopefully no Windows HP. fans are listening. <laughs> no, no, it's okay. We good. Anyway, uh, so, since Louis, since you've popped in, I'm just going to move us on a bit now quickly. Yeah, just um, and. A little yeah. bit before Quickly. we move along, yeah. I found the name. It's Web Antics. Okay, Web Antics. If you guys want to go look at the pricing, yeah, check their um, prices. And their pricing was very good. Their Spot. pricing was uh, the best that I could find that actually had stock. Yeah, we did find they there was one that prices. was like maybe slightly cheaper, and that was like dealer prices. So these guys' yeah. prices um, slightly more. They, so their prices good. are good, and they deliver to your door for free. Perfect. Yeah. Sorry, Lou. Uh, <laughs> Carrying on. Carrying cool. On. Um, part of the reason why you're here is you. you you've got this project. I'm. Uh, um, not going to try to pronounce the word that you, you uh, your temporary name that you have. Uh, Do you want to I tell changed, us a bit more about it? I changed the name um, <laughs> to a more recent one. I called it Split, S P L I T. And just by the way, I've made a mess when I um, gave out my Twitter name or whatever you call it yeah. handle. It's just Louis J V Rensberg. There's no underscores there. I don't know why I thought. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I've been <laughs> doing too much. PHP with all sorts of funny uh, variables. Underscores, yeah. So no, cool. Do you want to tell us a bit about what is your project, uh, what you're trying to do? <coughs> project is about, okay, I've got a blog on, 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 on this project where a lot of the detail is. So this blog, um, just see. Cool. Yeah, I know uh, it's uh, quadiscrew at wordpress.com. Quadiscrew dot wordpress. It's a WordPress blog that just gives you an idea of where, it, where it's come from and all the rest of it. But it's a project that I've had um, somewhere in my mind since the 90s and it uh, started as a comic book that I wanted to draw eventually it just came out as um, as a big frustration I'm saying frustration because what do you do if you have A, no budget B, no time and C who needs sleep we've all been at, at those problems yeah. yeah you know so and it's, so you know that, that's that's partly why I have no love for dot net. It's because it stole a lot of my sleep for absolutely no reason. <laughs> what are you coding on now? The Did PHP. <laughs> 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 so you decided to change the whole, all the development and move to, to PHP. Ah, right, so just asking, just asking. Uh, we, we, may we ask where this is? Uh, well, that it's for 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 my actual job. Okay. It's um, uh, for my actual job. It's mostly web development. There's a lot of things happening on web development in my job, and um, a lot of things uh, couldn't happen because of the route that was originally chosen, which was uh, which was .NET. Yeah, and uh, I've had a similar project on a problem on a project <laughs> pro project once before where it was PHP, and then they spaced .NET, and we got halfway through the new rebuild, and it was like, I, I can't you do can't these features, <laughs> and it was like, okay, yeah, <laughs> it ended up being a bit of a nightmare across both. Yeah. .NET and PHP, but yes. Well, wasn't there such a thing about MySpace as well a while ago where they did go the .NET route and they busted out and they had to make some other plan? 
What is John doing? But anyway, <laughs> uh, I don't sorry, know. We don't know. We've got <laughs> random sounds coming out here. Uh, what? Okay, so you said you you had a, a coffee, uh, graphic novel. That's yeah, it started as a, the idea uh, started as a graphic novel. Well, I saw Gay that's now involved into a animated video. Yeah. Um, um, what is it about? What What are you trying to do with that? Well, it start the the idea started with um, you know, all those Bible prophecies of the rapture and those things. Um, if you're not if, if you're not familiar with that, just go read your Bible. I'm sure you can find one in the house. Um, but the, the the bottom line is, I thought that it would make a good um, backdrop for for something other than what you normally see when you hear about st stories about the rapture, stories about the second coming of Christ. Well, it's not a Christian thing. It's not a it's not a, um, a religious project, but it uses that as a backdrop to do. As a Do setting, some, as a setting, yeah. So um, the genre of the product, or the pr product, uh, the, the genre of the project is, um, I would say, something along the lines of um, uh, thriller, crime, whatever you want to call it. But it's serious, and it's not something that it's Go supposed to be funny. Here's a clip. I don't know if anybody. Um, We've got uh, busy here. We've got some of the, the. Is this all that you've done yourself? Yeah. Quite nice. What are you using to do your development? Uh, the, this is all done in iClone, which is a machinima project, a uh, 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 um, software. Is it a, a Linux or a uh, Windows one? Unfortunately, it's Windows. Cool. No, no, I just have to ask. <laughs> it doesn't even have a Mac counterpart, so it's, it's Windows cool. for me. But you also said, uh, I know you, you've got a, you want to request some help from people. Um, the help I need on this, um, it, it being machinima, um, I'm assuming people know what machinima is. Um, but if you don't, you can go Google it. At the end of the day, machinima, proje machinima projects need voiceovers. Mm -hmm. um, this type of project is normally something that guys go and they post things online. Uh, a voice artist alliance or voice acting alliance, those types of sites. You can go and have your... Have your go at posting your project then see if anybody will respond. I've had some responses. I've had some uh, some bits and pieces of, of, of things that people have done for me there and some of some of it I've used, some of it I haven't. Um, but the point is that unless you have a steady stream of committed people that are willing to actually, you know, go the distance with you and say, okay, fine, give us this 120-page script of yours. Let us, let us get casted in a role and read it from start to finish. And act it properly, and and uh, you know, just just do the whole thing. So, uh, the, the, you know, unless you have that, the, you, you don't really have anything to work with. Yeah, and you, you can't really do any animation unless, well, the way I work, I can't do animation unless I have a voice to animate to. Cool. Um, I would imagine it's a bit easier once you've got the voice to to get the animation to fit rather than the other way around. Absolutely. I mean, the software does lip syncing, but what do you sync to? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Cool. So yeah. basically, the cause you, you wanting guys to get involved with your project um, and voice people are willing to do voices and voice acting for your project. That's pretty uh, much it, yeah. And basically, where uh, where would they start? Where can they start reading about what you're doing? Uh, you've got your blog. Is that the best place? The blog is the best place to actually read about the project. If they want to send me a mail to just get some um, some 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 uh, some contact going. They can send it off to miserabledutchman at gmail.com. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Nice. Awesome <laughs> handle. Look, it's not a joke. Uh, it's just, it's, my boss actually bought me that. Uh, all right. I'm going to type it into our CEO so that the O's can see it. All right. And we also put, obviously, all these links and stuff we will put into uh, on the YouTube descriptions and everything. So just wiki at altinet.tv it will be all the place <laughs> if you want to find this stuff um but yeah no cool sounds like a very cool project and a project of love Thank um, you. so if you guys if guys are wanting to get involved in stuff please i appreciate it thanks guys thanks right. no cool right all right uh into the next thing which was uh more we've got a lot of self stuff Again. on today we're still cell phones at least yeah, no, well, um but we talk about those too <laughs> hdc sensation <laughs> if you want, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> later. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, Vertical outage Wait. last week. <laughs> Keep quiet about the sensation. I will do. <laughs> Please do. And if you bring it ever to the show, you have lost it. <laughs>
Oh, well, there we have it. So nobody, everybody in LT land, um, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> you were able to see the sensation from me. <laughs> Why is it that? Oh, it's, it's cool. It's a really cool oh, looking device. Cool. Oh, is yeah. it lovely? Yeah. yeah it's it's really no, cool. no, no. Bring it. <laughs> no. I want to see it. Sorry. It really Overruled. I want to see it. <laughs> yeah. Now, any cool tech. Yeah. It's always bring. Uh, just uh, just a quickie, cool. since we're talking about it, um, the latest information came in um, uh, over this yeah. week and I published an article today. MTN is not ranging the device. It's Why not? I, I don't know. Um, Mistake. They didn't say. I think the issue, the issue might be, have to do with supply because today, you know, news started breaking that, uh, okay, well, I got um, info from Vodacom. They're getting it at the end of the week already. And Virgin is also getting it, if not this week, next week. So Vodacom and Virgin have it. Um, Celsi have indicated that, that they have it, but um, they haven't. Um, no, sorry, I'm getting that wrong. Um, ATA, ATA have given an indication of, of when they might get it, which is August, September. Um, but nobody else um, seems to have it. So um, I followed up a little because I want to review unit now. Obviously, that Vodacom is getting it. People want to be able to make purchasing decisions. And I want to play with a cool There's device. There's no decision to make. <laughs> Just yeah, get it. That's what I said. Just um, yeah, please, yeah. please come yeah. show it to Anyway, us. so I called Vodacom to find out, you know, uh, oh, actually, I phoned Lee first. And they said that Vodacom gets their stock straight from HTC. Um, I, I don't understand how this works. So Vodacom ha are getting their, s their stock before the official distributor of HTC products in South Africa get their stock. It's probably through Vodafone. Maybe. Yeah, I know. Sure there she Vodafone. is. There she is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 what does she have? What? You want to know? You want to know? Click on the spec link. 1.2 gigahertz Qualcomm Single CPU. Call. Dual call. Dual call. Dual call. Uh, it's got a QHD display. 4.3 inch QHD 1. display. 1.2 gigs to a core. Does it have a slide off keyboard? No. no. And five minutes of it's battery life. Th <laughs> a, think Desire <laughs> HD. <laughs> Mega. Yeah. Color. Yeah. And, and, and what it does, um, the um, uh, Anantech have actually praised this as the device with the strongest design language that HD has ever re released. And what they mean by that is um, it's got cool little features. You've messed up my camera. I Sorry. haven't touched it. No, it was me. It was me. <laughs> the other guest wa was... Uh, the there guest. we go. I'm back in the frame. All right. So, um, <laughs> the... the um, You're really excited about this phone, aren't you? The, the sensation clips yes. out of a unibody frame. So, the whole, the whole device clips out of the frame. Then you fit in the battery and the SIM and the micro SD and all that stuff. And then you clip it back into the shell. So, the whole thing, like it's got this whole shell that fits around the phone. It doesn't have a back cover that pops off. Um, so anyway, I'll show you guys if and when I get, get it. it. Yeah, cool. This all right, all so right. All right. <laughs> we, we, we quite successfully didn't talk about phones right now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so <Sorry>. Sedgway. <laughs> okay, uh, Vodacom outage last week. Um, yeah, I got to fix it, but it's my brother's birthday, and I couldn't phone him. Mm. Yeah. Oh. That's how I found out. I'd phone him a bit later, so yeah. it's actually okay. But What's still, um, <laughs> <laughs> well, that won't he's work. Not, he's not. He's not. Unfortunately, my brother's a lawyer, and he's not that technologically advanced yet oh. uh, <laughs> still using blackberry and, yeah. and yeah, anyway and so the voter bomb happened during the apocalypse. yeah um <laughs> you made two people laugh <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. and and a lot of people joined those dots um you know people were, <laughs> were wondering well, if maybe rico caused the outage which isn't i mean it's uh, not a bad, bad it's not a bad theory. question yeah um but no had nothing to do with it they haven't quite exactly said what happened yeah and and um i also went back and just checked you know our latest information and vodacom said they're they're investigating it was a transmission failure and it was something it was it was a failure uh, or it was two failures a failure that happened in two places and peter i said it should not have brought the network down um so are they still invest still still investigating still yeah. to find out what's going, what's going on most of what is is they did come out quite quickly and apologize and say there's a problem and look all, the, all these things, everybody's going to have a problem at some point. So it's great. Don't hide it. Just say there's a problem. We're working on it. Let, let us know, then we can at least stop s stressing. So I must say, very, very well done on Vodacom's part. Mm -hmm. And I have told Vodacom this as well, but thank you very much. Our traffic spiked like you cannot believe on Thursday. <laughs> it was lovely. I can imagine. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, have you noticed also when Seacom goes down, you guys are the first place I go to? Zunk. 
Yeah. <laughs> it's lovely. <laughs> um, we should actually put a test in your thing, and then whenever it goes up, we know CCOM or one of the things is down. It's actually greater than the slash dot effect. In fact, slash dot is now negligible. Um, <laughs> but when CCOM goes down, bonk, <laughs> it's awesome. But um, uh, 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 Peter Ice was praised for his handling of the situation. He was on Twitter at 10 o'clock at night helping people out. Um, he was at the site, at the physical site, uh, in the middle of the night. Uh, with his engineers to investigate what's going on mm, and to bring mm. it back up uh, online and stuff. Um, so, uh, and I think it's deserving of praise. I mean, people obviously were still unhappy with the downtime, as they should be. Um, so, and and Peter, like, I mean, what what more can you do but apologize? Um, so, no, so. No, look, and Sue's just smiling. No, I'll uh, we'll wait so. for the comment later. <laughs> um, but no, look. The, the, I think they handled very well. It was a problem, something wrong. I'd, I'd just love to know because yeah, what it the is, real, real what details, the real the gory details, the yeah. technical details, what actually happened. But, and I wonder if they if they know by now. The, I'm I, pretty I, sure I, they know. Yeah, they should I'm know by sure now. I'm pretty sure what happened when it went down. They're like, oh crap! Please don't help. Please don't be that link. Please don't be that link because I knew it was coming. <laughs> and they look at the logs like, crap! It was that link. Yeah. <laughs> and then all hell broke loose. <laughs> <laughs> To, uh, since we were talking about the Rick apocalypse, um, have you seen the your Department of Communication came out? I think it was today or yesterday, or, or briefly going. Well, since you know the, the news people are actually going about all these SIM cards that Which are being buy, yeah. buy, it's like no, 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 you shouldn't do that, and, and you know we're going to stamp it out now, and you know we we didn't know about this before, come, come on, and it's you know it's <laughs> illegal, and it's like. It's been going on for months. Yeah. And, and how and, did they and, not see it coming? And e maybe even a year, maybe even longer than that, this has been happening. But the, the penalties are stiff, hey? I don't know if you guys checked. Um, for a, a mobile network operator, it's 100,000 Rand per day that you're not compliant with Rika. Mm -hmm. For a person who contravenes the law, mm -hmm. so which by implication here um, is... Uh, you know, you sell on a, yes, a yeah, Rika sim, sim yeah. um, you know, which which isn't registered to the person's correct details. That's sixty thousand rand, up to a sixty thousand rand fine, yeah. or up to twelve months in jail. Quick question: hundred thousand rand a day for the operator? Yeah. Up to up, up to. to per person per subscriber no, or total? Just per day. Then why the hell would they have even bothered to do the Rika thing? I think if you just because they've cut off a million people's SIM cards. Well, no, just if cut they off, cut off a, million a million SIM cards. Yeah, but and so how much it money I'm were just going to say, uh, I reckon they got they lose it. They were lost more than a hundred thousand bucks a day. Perhaps, and and the information that came out today, it's significant money that was spent on these Rika campaigns. Um, these guys yeah. were dropping numbers, two hundred and fifty million to half a billion rand on on getting Rika out there. So um, the the only the only thing I could think of is that if you take it over time it'll yeah, <laughs> it'll work, it'll work out, out cheaper to just and, do it. And they'll well, probably then when, it, when it comes around to licensing times yeah. again and all the rest and they'll have but also you find if they do continually contravene it, they'll go, You're license yeah. booked. Yes, yeah. Um I have to think what could that money have been spent on? I mean, just and everybody is asking the same question. Five hundred billion. Because really does uh, million. I mean come on, is Rika actually gonna really do it? The so, improvements. And, and this was a, a, a question Duncan actually asked today. It was a very valid question. Sorry, oh, sorry. I was going to say, oh, no, no, I was going to say, yes, if you in England and stuff like that, where you know your address and everything is so static, yes. Yeah. In this country, come on, people move. Uh, it's not a affidavit. No, yeah. Yeah. I mean, they're getting, they're sorry, getting. You're going to. Yeah. So Duncan's Duncan's question, I think he got in the last question of the day, or one of the last questions of the day, and it was, has Rika done anything? Basically, <laughs> paraphrased. Sorry, Duncan. Um, and the minister of uh, the the deputy minister of justice and com constitutional affairs or something, uh, constitutional development, said that yeah the uh, the interception part has been valuable in cases and we're like yes we know the interception part is valuable in cases yeah. but we could do that before Rika. Um, so what now? Yes. So uh, the the whether the, the so the, the real question is 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 this registration going to mean anything? And the likely answer there is no. Because you can triangulate. I think the, the ability to triangulate on that SIM card is a far more valuable service than knowing where that person's physical address might be. Yeah, and I mean, come on, really, all it's done is it's just sold a whole bunch of databases to spammers. <laughs> well, maybe. <laughs> They're not think allowed that. to. I just think yeah, it's come a lot on, of... Come on. <laughs> really? Anyway, yeah, no, look, uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> Next topic. <laughs> all right. Um, we've all had time to play with Google+. Plus. I, I, like like it. Mm. I like it. I like it. I like it. Yeah, yeah, I must say. Google fanboys in the house. Must tell you, one of the reasons why I like it, it's new, so all the people on there are all geeks. Yeah, and, and all, the, all the people on <laughs> there are guaranteed to be people that I actually want on there. Yes, that's yes. Facebook is littered with it's, it's filtered out If you go, if you go read the, the whatever it's called, the feed, 
it's actually normally people that I'd like to speak to. There's no Farmville, which is really a plus. Uh, is is what that else a plus? Is none of, no, I don't give that a plus. It, but it, what it needs is a minus button. It needs a downvote button, really. Come on. We need to do- be able to downvote things. I, I, I love the little things they did with the interface, actually. So the guy who designed Circles uh, apparently chatted about this stuff. But I don't know if you noticed, when you click and drag a contact... Into a yeah. circle, a little plus one. Uh-huh. Yeah. It's pretty cool. Yes. It's pretty and cool. It's very you gamified. Tried, uh, dragging two people. Okay. Yeah, plus two. Yeah. And then yeah. it also, it, it like paper clips them together as you're dragging them through. It's really well done. And this is all in a browser. Yeah. yeah. I must it's say that circle thing is wouldn't. just works. It just makes sense. It's a very clever way of it's, doing things. You know, mm. this whole group thing. I just, I would like a pages feature. Yes. Uh, it, that would be nice. And also one thing that they need to do is they need to integrate the huddles for mobile into a, that there's a web uh, that you can access it somehow from your their website and it would be really cool to have the uh, hangout. hangout on your phone yes. especially if you've got like a front facing camera, camera or something yeah. like video that chat. would be very cool I know Gareth and I tested video chat from Nexus S to Nexus S and that was shockingly bad yeah. in yeah. South Africa and what I'd also like to see is huddle on PC uh, yeah. I don't know if I'm missing that out yeah. no okay, that's what I was saying that. yeah, okay. some way of, of getting, getting the messages or something without but I think that's them that's trying cool. to compete a bit, a bit against uh, Blackberry Messenger and old and, uh, uh, and old and and WhatsApp and, and WhatsApp old. and then that but it works nicely from, uh, Apple yeah but it's pretty cool and it works yeah, no, it works brilliantly what, so? what yeah. I did notice and I'm, I'm actually not sure um, we should actually test this was with the normal Google chat integration that they have um, in Google Plus you can select specific circles. Now, I don't know if yes. that limits your contacts to specific circles or whether that makes a group chat with that circle. No, no, it limits your list of contacts to see on the side. Okay. It, it'll only show you who you want to see okay. that's online, yeah. Oh, so it's just like a, cool. it's just basically like an instant filter. Exactly. Mm. And then does does yeah. that mean that you show offline to the rest of the guys? I have, no, I have no idea. Okay. The other thing I like is Probably to have not, circles though. inside circles. Can you do that? No. No. I will we'll call that Google Plusception. Well, no, the, the whole reason behind <laughs> yeah. that is you, you, you put a whole bunch of people in circles, but now you want to, um, you, you want, want like close friends and friends. and. But you, you can add a person to I guess that's why you can add a person to both circles. But you want to have to, now, now no, let's no, say enough. you've I'd got one person, you've got to go one, two, three, one, two, you know, instead of just one. All I'd like is to actually just get Google I, Plus for, uh, yeah. shame, Google App Apps account. users. I, yeah. I, oh, for Apps, yes. Again, they, Like they say, yeah. but, but, you know, it's, come on, you've paid, you get less. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note <laughs> all right but it's, 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 it's i'm gonna it's, shut down and let's go <laughs> it's funky uh, i quite um, like it and the other thing i wanted to mention is the google apps for android is brilliant it's the best one of the best phone apps for these things i've seen it looks phone like the old facebook app <laughs> um it, it, like uh uh just look wise, if you look, mm. uh, get to the front page, but then when you get to uh, the actual features, when you drill mm. into the features, yeah, they are very slick it's and it's fast. Yeah, it's yeah, it's not so fantastic on tablet. Um, it it works pretty well, but it's not. Uh, everything seems a bit stretched out. Okay, so yeah, it's not buggy or anything. It's just stretched out, yeah, so it doesn't UI look is as bit, great. You are a bit crappy. Yeah, but All it right. still works pretty good. I've been doing most of the uh, and Google Plus for those. On the sorry, no, poor, poor poor iPhone people. Oh yeah. Tough. It's it's there, uh, but did you, you see that they've uh, Google's asked Apple to approve it? Yeah, yeah, they have some. Yeah. It's just in the approval. Process. Whether it's going to ever be approved is another story. It, it took our little um, forum white labeled forum app. It took a week to approve. Yeah. So a brand spanking new application with the amount of networking detail. You'll see. Uh, uh, yeah, it's and a competitor. On. Yeah, and a competitor. They're going to go through that thing with a fine tooth comb. Yeah. I'm pretty sure and we'll go through several I mean, revisions before it'll get approved. But I, I do know at the time everybody was complaining that Google hadn't written an app because, you know, they were favoring Android. And, and it turned around, I was like, no, no, no. We've written your app. It's just it's, waiting for it's you. It's your guys, yeah. actual phone people that it's, are you know what, causing it's gonna the end up, It's going to end up as another FCC lawsuit again before they'll allow the app in the store. I hope not. No, I think they need to get over this stuff because yeah. again, Android, Android it looks like it's going to get assailed from from a lot of angles now, losing on those Nortel patents. I don't know if you saw the story there with the Nortel <laughs> patents. That was fifteen dollars per Android phone. That's for Samsung. Samsung. Yeah, that that's Windows though. That's Windows. Yeah, but uh, but oh, I, I love the, the other story that came out. Google's bidding strategy for that was apparently bidding a mathematical constants. And so pi. And, and their final their final bid was pi. <laughs> and then they didn't up the bid. Cool, cool. <laughs>
And, right. that, and that was in billions, eh? Yes. yes. Billions when, of dollars. When they got to three billion. <laughs> so the party point one pi billion. $2 billion. <laughs> <laughs> but did they go all the way down to the way they get yes, 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 yes. One, four, one, five, nine. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Very cool. Got a geek credit there. All right. Um, okay, we're just going to go to our last story then quickly, um, uh, which is basically glass printing. 3D oh, glass yeah. printing with solar power. That is quite cool it is very cool but you see who it is no. it's an egyptian oh yes they've got lots of sand uh, no dude i'm serious it's no, an no, egyptian in yes. egypt that yes. did it i think that's really cool it's very cool yeah. mm. um let's see if this video is buffered yeah it has. Uh, cool so for everybody uh, just to excuse the video playing what it is is basically he's got some solar panels and a fresnel lens um, and he goes out to the middle of the desert and fills the thing yeah, with you, sand. you're gonna have to jump forward a bit johan quickly there we go. There you can and see it fills with, it up. with sand. sand. It, it tracks the sun and it then can, it melts the sand into shapes. Uh, just keep on jumping ahead and we'll get to where it's actually starting to, there, there you can see it's actually starting to melt. And they zoom in during this video. You know, you've got to look at the video to actually see this. You just see the, the, the sand bubbling. Yeah, there it is. Right, there, there it, it is. is. There. Just check. check it. Check it and start. Ah, come on. That's, that's incredible. What Seeing it is. sand bubble is quite an incredible experience. Yeah. Is that is it's turning liquid? Yeah. Is that with a slow with a with a high speed camera? That no, 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 no. That's that's, that's real, real time. Speed, real time. Wow. And it's um it's quite cool. Okay, there's some problems with it, but it's check it out. It makes some interesting things. It's still not sure what that is. No, it's not functional. It's, like a, it's, it's a sculpture. It's, 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 it's like a what's it a Mobius strip or not a Mobius strip? It's one of those oh, okay. also one of those mathematical functions that are all twisted in on Look, the yeah, okay. Admittedly, you know, it's still prototype and all the rest of it, but you know, give it a couple of years. Hey, it's a good idea. Just and think, you could go ch if you automated this thing, you could throw them out in the desert before you invade the country. Um, <laughs> come back in like a month's time, and you got barracks built for your troops. Well, I was actually <laughs> more thinking, you know, <laughs> as glass factories in future, you don't need to have big furnaces. It's not not mess, but you you yeah. could. There's uh, some issues with this, like yeah. this glass is not tempered glass, and there's some issues with the strength of it, and it's yeah very sharp and that. But it's cool, cool. <laughs> right. I think it's a smart. Idea. Somebody it's also really mentioned cool. this reminds me of a 3D chocolate printer. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> which uh, I, I put the link in, but they didn't they didn't like it. Well, it was glass or or, or chocolate, and we went same, glass. Same kind of tech that they just. But we, we will add the link it. in so you can also watch uh, a 3D chocolate printer, which actually was a bit more precise. Yeah. yeah I think chocolate is generally precise. easier to work with. That was more minimal. That's a mm. st they're using the sun through a lens. Come on. And, and it's that's great. Really no, no, that, cool. one, that one wins. Sorry. <laughs> yes. That's what we chose. That's what we highlighted that one. The chocolate one is also cool. Yes. I so just wanted to know that bowl that he printed. I, that's not waterproof, though. They'd have to add, you'd have to do something else to make it waterproof. Why? Because it, I mean, you've got layers. You can see the, the way it, it melts. I mean, it, it's not going to be, it's not, gonna, it's not solid. So it needs a bit of work there. You mean it might have, it's porous and it's stuff? It's very porous. It looks very porous anyway. Well, and can, it'll probably be very sharp. If you, you can yeah, increase the now. heat. No, there's the, there's the bowl there. But anyway, I think it's, 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 a, it's cool. It's a cool idea. All right. With that, we're going to wrap up. Um, so we just want to say thank you to our guest again. So, uh, Louis. Thank you very much for coming on. Yes, thanks for telling me. us about your project. Mm -hmm. uh, once again, do you want to just quickly give your correct Twitter handle? <laughs> <laughs> well, let me just go find um, it. Or, or <laughs> if, if you're on the video, look, look, look online quickly. Uh, I'll read it for you. It's at uh, L O U I S J V R E N S B U R G. Louis Janssen van Rensburg. No, without, yeah. the, without the answer. Uh, Louis that J V R Rensburg. That's it. I was going for. Oh, okay. So yeah. my name changed to L's. <laughs> <laughs> so much easier. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cool. But all, all these uh, links will be on our website. So, the so uh, if you're a voice actor, mm. get on there. Oh, and just if you want to get involved and you're yeah. keen. Yeah. In whichever capacity, I don't mind. Um, yeah, cool. <laughs> Mr. Just, you need help. specific voices, male, female? I've got a few requirements, but I think it's best to just let, uh, let it lie out there. Let's see what comes out of the woodwork. See so you pops out. Um, so I'm not going to be too prescriptive. Uh, what's it? Uh, more, more, too much is not a problem. Too much is not a problem. <laughs> cool. Uh, then thank you to Stuart Allen. How's this? Stu underscore Z Day. Z -day. Yep. Cool. I'm looking for yeah, a dollar. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> cool. And what's your blog again? StuartAllen.org. Cool. 
Uh, thank you, Jan Vermeulen, oh, at thank you again. My Broadband. Yep. And I, at Jan VZA. So you've changed yourself. <laughs> you yeah, yeah, I, I, I used to be somebody else, but I am no longer. <laughs> <laughs> at Jan VZA. Yes, it's the Jan Vermeulen in ZA. Cool. Gerard uh, Vermeulen, thank you for joining us guys and showing us your Thanks lovely again. tablet. Mm. Uh, and that's at hawkies.za. Hawkies.za. Yeah. Thanks for mixing, uh, Johannes. I always try. Always <laughs> get right. cool. That's where you can find me. Cool. At uh, Johan underscore else for people listening to the audio. True. Sorry. That's right. <laughs> All right so Is Twitter my case sensitive? No. No. So it doesn't care? No. Sadly not. Or maybe it's a good thing that it's not. It's good. It's yeah. very good. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. And um, you are? Tim Hawk. Uh, Tim underscore Hawk on Twitter. Um, our next show, you know, uh, is next week, Tuesday. Got a list of possibilities. Oh, don't we have? Isn't there something tomorrow? No, no unfortunately, unfortunately we're not going to make it tomorrow. Just, uh, scheduling ah, conflicts, no. but uh, we now are on Tuesdays to Thursdays at half past seven every day, and then almost in a week's time we will be Mondays to Thursdays. <laughs> so uh, you're working like a dog. What's what's no, the, no, what's we, the new Monday show? We have show? Uh, somebody else who's going to. <coughs> <coughs> what's the new Monday show? Uh, no, what's going to happen is little possibilities moving to Mondays. Okay. Uh, still alternating, so we're going to be off one. And sports going to go every week. Oh, okay. okay, cool. Well, there's plenty of sport to talk about, so that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. and there's plenty of sport coming up as well. Mm. Correct. Mm. Yeah, so we've yeah. got World Cup. World Cup, Rugby. World Cup. Yep. So, yeah, thank you for listening. Uh, goodbye. Cheers. Good night. Cheers. Cheers.